Well, good Sunday morning. I'm Jaden Jefferson and welcome to this week's Community Focus as we return from the holiday break. This morning, I am joined by Lisa Sebecki and you may know her, she represented us in the State House, but now she is coming back to Lucas County as Lucas County's new commissioner. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Jane, for having me today. And it seems like we've had you on the show so many times at this point. You're kind of a grand champion at this point on Community Focus. But give me an idea of what it's going to be like to finally be able to stay here in Lucas County and not have to go back and forth to Columbus. Well, uh, thank you for that question. I think it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be really nice. I think my family's going to kind of enjoy it or maybe not enjoy it uh, because I'll be at home asking them to clean out the dishwasher. Um, on a much regular basis, but you know, I'm really excited to be back here um, in town and be able to serve um, Lucas County as their next Lucas County Commissioner. Uh, but I always, you know, I told my colleagues down at the State House, I'm just going to be a pause uh, because I still plan on traveling up and down that road um, on behalf of Lucas County um, on the you know different legislation that they'll have going through this next General Assembly. And there are obviously plenty of issues here in the county that you're going to have to get right to work on, including the new jail. This has been a topic of discussion for years now. So as we're getting closer to finalizing a location for the new jail, what do you hope comes out of this? Where do you think uh, the priorities need to be in deciding this new location? Well, I, you know, I'm going to be really excited because um, I'm really committed and I, and I know the other three commissioners have been committed as well. But this is something that the county has talked about for 10 years. And the more that we talk about it, the higher the price tag is going to go up to be able to construct that new jail. But um, I've been doing some work um, before even coming into office and, and visiting some different jail sites and seeing what they have to offer. But um, you're actually, you know, you're you're correct. We got to solidify a, a space first. Uh, before we could start construction, I'm I'm hopeful that we'll get that um, sooner um, than later, and we'll get to be uh, moving on. That I, I jokingly have said out there in the community that one way or the other, if I have to go and make the bricks and put the bricks in place to start building that jail, um, I'm prepared to roll up my sleeves and do exactly that, um, just as I had when we were building the new schools in our school district of getting those construction projects started. So I'm really excited. I believe we're going to be able to get there. And um, the end result, I think the citizens are going to be quite um, happy with what we have. Um, provided within that jail. But most importantly, though, Jane, I want to really focus on the mental health piece of um, what we have talked about um, a lot about is that revolving door with mental health. So tying that in with building the jail is going to be uh, quite crucial for us to be successful and to be helping, you know, the citizens in Lucas County um, to get on that right step instead of being on those wrong steps. For sure. And that's definitely something that has to be considered what we're going to be doing in terms of mental health, especially when you have the opportunity to build a new jail, which is not an opportunity that comes along too often for many different counties. So in terms of talking about mental health, what are some things you'd like to see implemented in the jail to help people out? Because really, that's one thing that often flies under the radar. Absolutely. And I think that you know, things that we can look at is, you know, taking care of the mental health when they're in the jail. I know, I know they're currently doing that now, but digging a little bit deeper on that and providing services. But also it's when you are leaving from incarceration to go back um, into society is that you have your needs and you are connected to those services so we can, we can get those, you know, get those mental health needs um, uh looked at and someone getting on to a healthier path and keeping them on that healthier path. Something that um, we did when I um, was the chapter chair at Lucas County Jobs and Family Services is that we actually had a caseworker that was on site so that when you were leaving from um, the jail um, out there to the community that you were connected with your services and with your benefits, um, before you left that jail. So I would like to re, um, look at that so that when you're leaving, you're connected with services and expanding that even a little bit further than what we've had in the past. And you had said earlier that you're prepared to do this if you have to, to lay brick by brick for this new jail. And it seems like building has definitely been a theme with the county commissioners, a renovated uh, convention center in downtown Toledo, which is 
a good sign of progress in downtown. So what do you hope is to come with the county commissioners in your time with them? Well, I'm going to be really excited. I, I want to, um, I've talked about this a lot during the campaign trail and that was put in, in a strategic plan for the direction and that, you know, that strategic plan is an external strategic plan that's working with our business and our labor community out there. And as a regional approach, you know, in my thinking, um, not just looking at Lucas County, but with our partner counties that are um, adjoined to us, because we all know the folks that live in Lucas County sometimes might work in Wood County or might work in Ottawa County or might work in Fulton County or vice versa. Um, so that we can, you know, work together to bring economic development growth to our county. So what's that next steps? What's that next big project? And and what do we have to need to get prepared for that? But also the internally looking at a strategic plan on how we operate and work as a county on those county services that we do provide out there. And how would you describe the state of those relationships currently? Would you say they're stronger or is there going to be more work that's going to be, need to be done? Well, I think there's always um, more work to be done. I think a lot of things that I'd heard, you know, on the campaign trail is um, folks we, that we look and we talk about a lot about the city of Toledo, which I think that's, you know, a big, huge piece of our county. But we also have, you know, jurisdictions within the county that um, feel sometimes left out. And so having those conversations, and that's what I'm committed to doing, you know, coming in, um, my administrative assistants, we have already been um, actually working. I actually started moving my stuff into my office this past week. We've also been having conversations about already setting up appointments. So I'm, I'm prepared to work as I did down at the state house, as I have done in the past on the school board to work seven days a week um, you know, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for each and every um, person within the county. So we are already setting up to have conversations um, internally with the internal directors, but also externally with other elected officials in our, within our county, but also outside of our county. So just to, as a as listening to see what those um, items might be. So I'm really excited to get started working and actually we've already started doing some of that work. And I guess that work is starting and your swearing-in ceremony was Saturday. So definitely a lot to come in Lucas County for sure. And Lisa Sebecki, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you, Jane, and, and Happy New Year to everyone. Yes, yes, we made it to 2023. I mean, the last few years have been unpredictable at this point. So be careful when you're making plans. That's all I can say. Absolutely. Thank you, Jaden. Well, thank you so much. And that's this week's Community Focus. Have a great, safe, happy new year.